Hello, my friends. Today we're going toe to toe with wet filament. Most, if not all, filament will pull some moisture out of the air, especially if you don't keep it in a properly dry environment, which is a problem because if you try to print with wet filament, you're going to get brittle prints, they're going to have poor layer adhesion, they're going to have way more stringing than they normally would, and they're just going to be going to be and they're just going to be very messy. Now, certain types of filament like ABS, nylon, TPU, PETG are notorious for pulling moisture out of the air. And since I print most stuff in PETG, I really need to figure out a better way to store my spools. Otherwise, I'm sitting there watching them dry before ever use. So, the most straightforward solution is to simply put them into an airtight box. So that is why I've come up with fittings and a rack system that lets us put our spools directly into the box, pull the filament through the side of the box, and run it directly into our printer. That's pretty nifty, hey? For anyone wanting to play along at home, I have the entire parts list in the description below, and you can access all of the parts, the printed parts, on my Patreon. Meaning that for the price of a coffee, you can skip the prototyping and designing step and go right into building. Doesn't that sound nice? For simplicity and ease of assembly, nearly all the parts are printable without supports. Uh, the only thing that needs supports are the frame brackets, and uh, as you can see, the supports are really easy to remove, so it's really no problem. The pins were printed with a brim to provide more vertical stability while printing. Uh, all I did was hit them with a file a little bit to clean up the corners and so that they will insert into the frame parts just a little bit better. Hey, so you know how you're kind of supposed to measure and make sure that the thing you're working on actually fits? Um, apparently I forgot to do that. I was at Walmart just kind of eyeballing the box and I was like, hey, that'll be good enough. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to go and get rid of this. Boom. And now she fits ish. I was initially planning on mounting the uh, brackets straight into the floor of the box, but the the floor of the box had a little bit of curvature to it, and that was putting too much tension on the rollers for them to spin freely. So what I ended up doing was mounting the brackets to a board and then screwing the board into the bottom of the box. To lay out the holes for the board, I used the spare bracket I had left over, uh, put some screws through it so that I could mark the exact location of where the bracket sits on the board, and uh, that worked pretty nicely. Now I didn't screw down the middle brackets to give the rollers a little bit more wiggle room so that they don't bind or pinch or anything like that. The airtight fittings we printed are designed to be used with an 11 millimeter inside diameter gasket and that is so that when we tighten it down it'll make an airtight seal and our M10 uh, tube fitting just screws right into the front of it, fits real nice, looks clean. Now to actually mount our fittings, I used uh, measuring tape to roughly lay out the holes so that they're all level, and then used a small bit to start the hole and a one and a half inch or a 12.7 millimeter bit to finish it so that we can screw the fittings in properly. Also, be careful when drilling your holes because this type of plastic loves to crack, so uh, please be gentle. That's what she said! Lastly, I added the desiccant so that uh, we can absorb whatever moisture is left inside the box so that it is bone dry. Thank you. 
as you can see, the box works. And uh, that's kind of all I have for you guys today. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will answer them. And uh, I hope you guys take care. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Hello? What do you want? Just two X's? Not good enough. No. Kita, you're on camera right now. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm using this. I'm staring directly into the camera as I'm saying this.